Hi, today we're working on a uh, Tahoe 2007. Basically, I have a code for a low pressure uh, circuit. Um, the code is going to be P0523. I'll show you that. Here it is P0523. Engine oil pressure sensor switch circuit high input. Most common problem is that the sensor just shorts out, goes bad, and uh, will cause a low oil pressure um, signal. Also if you have low oil pressure, um, sometimes the screen, if the sensor is working fine, um, the screen can get clogged. And what you would do is you would pop out the, the little screen that's on there and then just slap on a new, uh, a new oil pressure switch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, there's two ways you can do this. One, you can um, take off the whole intake manifold, which would be a lot more easier. Or two, you can two you can um, just go behind the intake manifold and take off the oil pressure sensor, and then it's gonna be a little tight fitting, but you'll save a lot of time. Trust me. So I'll go ahead and show you um, a part, like a little uh, small part of a video with just. Uh, the intake manifold off so you see what I mean and then I'm going to show you how to do it with the intake manifold on. Alright so here's your oil pressure uh, sensor. Um, basically I took off the intake manifold so you can see this better. Um, this is from a different vehicle but um, I just wanted to make a good example out of this because I am going to be replacing a pressure sensor on um, on a Tahoe so let me just put this right back so First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to pull back this clip and then just lift right up and then you're gonna get a 27 millimeter socket put that right over get your ratchet And then that's how you take off your oil pressure sensor. Now there's a little screen on the inside. Let's see if I can get a better. Well, this one is missing its screen, but basically um, there would be a screen right there. And you would need a pick. So you would basically just kind of dig right in there, pick at the screen and lift right up. Might take you a couple times. Um, but again, you're gonna have the the whole intake manifold so it's not going to be that easy to get to but it, it will be manageable and then when you go ahead and put on your, your oil pressure switch you'll just spin it in by hand then you're not going to tighten it crazy probably about like 10 foot pounds at the most so you'll go ahead and plug right here connect there and then that's it all right so first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop off the engine cover just lift up and then just pull it back Then next thing, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, pull this back, air is going to come out, and don't forget to put this back where you, after we're done, don't forget we got to put that back. Alright, so with the intake on, and so the oil pressure sensor, it's going to be right, right back here, basically, it's going to be... That sensor right there with the little orange, orange or red dot, can't really see, but it's that guy right there. And um, we'll just go ahead and pop off the clip. I think you can, uh, you can see it from right there too as you're working on it. So you can have a little guide when you're installing that. No, you cannot remove that little plastic cover. It's there um, with the intake manifold, so. Unfortunately, it kind of 
it's, it sucks, but we'll do it like that. Tools that you're going to be using to take this off. I find this a very uh, effective way to attack this job with a 27 millimeter for the oil pressure sensor. Uh, swivel socket, half inch, an impact. And then I have a little adapter from a 3 8 to a half inch. And then I have a 3 uh, 3 8 extension of 3 inches. Um, this works perfect. This is just a perfect setup just for this job. Um, knock out the job probably within 30 minutes. And that's me taking my time on it. It should be a lot faster. So that's just me kind of procrastinating that little job a little bit. Um, so first thing, I'm going to pop off the, the clip off the, the sensor. And so when you're popping off this clip, um, you're just going to kind of... So when you're going to pull off the oil pressure switch clip, you're just going to pull the tab away from the sensor. So, sorry I can't show you how I'm going to pull the tab out, but I just lift up with my finger and just wiggle out the tab so that's the the sensor right there the connector and again you just pull it right back like that keep your finger on it and then pull push push out then put the pump part to take off so the way how I when I um, put on the socket I try to just put the socket in first Make sure you don't drop it. So we'll put in the socket first. And make sure the connector wire is not in the way. Okay, so now... There's my socket on the center. Then we'll go ahead and attach this piece. When you're going to put on the extension... So there it is, right there. Make sure you have it. You're just gonna put the um, everything together: the swivel socket, the um, three eighths to half inch, and then the the extension. So you're gonna put it right here, and then you're gonna slide it right to the back, and then just plug it in. Just be patient with it, and you're just gonna push down until it clips right in. Okay, so we're gonna. Put our 3 8 ratchet right there. And then once you loosen it, then you can do the rest by hand. It doesn't matter if the sensor falls right out, as long as obviously we're replacing it. Okay, and that's the sensor falling down. Now, also what we're going to do is we're going to take out the screen. Um, and you're going to need a little pick like this. Basically, you're just going to pick, pick, scrape, and pull back. Um, let's see if I can show you in the studio. So right there, that little orange thing inside that hole, that's the screen. Um, those get clogged up a lot and those will cause a low oil pressure um, like fault inside the um, the dash it could throw a code so this is a good time to either replace or take off so I'm just gonna take it off and um, not worry about that that's just to keep the oil pressure sensor from getting clogged you can see right there you can see the screen and then basically we'll just use the pick.
just like that. Falls back in, no biggie. So I dropped a little filter, which is no biggie. I still wanted it off, but got lost in the Bermuda Triangle, so not gonna need to worry about that. Unless we're gonna be replacing it, it's no biggie. Uh, now time to install the new sensor. Here's our new sensor. So you're gonna thread this in by hand first, and then use the socket. Um, I got the sensor at AutoZone. I think they're around like 60 bucks. I'll go ahead and put the part number in. They're a lot cheaper online if you if you don't mind waiting. But from AutoZone, if you need an ASAP, then this is the, the way how to go. Alright, so we got a new sensor. Um, threaded in by hand. And then we're going to finish the rest with uh, the ratchet. You do not need to torque this down. Probably about maybe 10 foot-pounds of torque. Not too hard. You don't want to end up stripping the threads on the on the oil pressure sensor. All right, so now we got our new sensor installed with the connector back on, and then we'll go ahead and reverse the order. We'll put back on the brake booster, and we'll put back on the engine cover, and then we'll clear the codes, and then we'll start the car back on. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clear the code. Successfully erased. No codes are pending. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start our car back up. And there goes our oil pressure sensor. Working perfectly fine now. Before it would be at zero. At all times. So. This video helped you out. Let's just, uh, comment below. Give it a thumbs up and then um, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when I post up more videos. Uh, thanks for watching.